uh, outside we've got the outdoor unit on the wall there, blah blah blah, so fairly straightforward outside. That's our heat pump outside, that's where we get the energy from. Inside we've got the VVM, fairly so tidy there, out of the way. And so our pipe connections are all really contained to directly above it. That's our heat meter up there for our RHI. That's counting the kilowatts. So at the moment we've uh, we're heating up the hot water just to test it. So we've uh, produced 10 kilowatt hours of heat. So actually quite interestingly, if you have a look through here, we've got metering for performance, which is electricity meters. We've got to fit for the RHI as well. So that's how much energy we're we've used from the grid. So if we have a look at these. There's hardly any units on that at all, and there's only 0.16. And then if you have a look at this one here, which is the heat pump, we've got... Let's change back in a minute, there's two rates on it. 2.22, so we've used 2.22 kilowatts of energy from the electricity grid, but we've produced 10. So you can see that's, you know, that's, you know, somewhere between four and a half and five, well, not quite five, but four and a half you're getting. So for every you know, one you put in, you're getting four and a half back. So that's quite a good demonstration. You won't get that year round, but like today, for example, heating up hot water, you've only had to pay for two kilowatts and the heat pump's giving you 10 in return. So, you know, massive saving really. Uh, VVM inside, touchscreen display. So we've got uh, well, basically, that's our indoor temperature there, so that's our uh, current temperature inside. That's measured at this wall sensor here. And then we've also got our target temperature, which we can adjust just by touching and put whatever we want. That's what we'd like it to, to achieve. Uh, aside from that, we've got our uh, hot water tank, so it's heating up at the moment. So that's 48 degrees inside the hot water tank, which is inside this machine here. Uh, that's our schedule and we can explain all that uh, energy log but typically speaking home page uh, there we are <coughs> uh, we've got an outdoor sensor which is round here so we've got that there the purpose of that is to measure the outdoor temperature uh, the reason we measure the outdoor temperature is uh, it's not just quite a basic control system, it's fairly clever in how it works. So it uses a thing called uh, a weather curve. So if we have a look here, so it's not just a case of having a, a target temperature, it's also a weather curve. So a weather curve is, if we have a look here, it's basically a line that's in proportion to the outdoor temperature. So the colder it becomes outside, which the unit knows because it's got a sensor outside, the warmer the floor will get and the colder it is, sorry, the, cold, the warmer it becomes outside, spring or summer or warmer winter days, the temperature on the floor will decrease. So obviously the, the system is overall more efficient the lower the water temperature it is. So what, that, what this will do is it will slide up and down that line based on how cold or how warm it is outside to try and get you the best efficiency. To probably illustrate that better, we can maybe have a look at the curve number. So curve number four are uh, outdoor temperatures along the bottom axis here and our uh, floor temperatures up the left hand axis. So at curve number four, at zero degrees outside, it will calculate 30 degrees in the floor. But if we were to select higher curve number, for example, curve seven, that same zero degrees outside will now calculate 37 degrees in the floor. So it's really going to be a balance in this building of finding out what's the lowest curve number that this building can successfully run on. Bearing in mind that the lower the curve number is, the uh, the more efficient the system's going to be. So that's the heating side of it. Hot water side, there's not an awful lot to be done. 
It's no programming required and it basically deals with itself. So it monitors the hot water tank all the time and as the hot water is used it will produce more hot water. So there's no programming to be done. Uh, another thing you might want to do if you do end up letting this house out, there's a screen lock on it as well and you can lock the screen which will basically stop people going in here and changing settings which you probably probably want to do if you're going to let it out. Uh, so back to the weather curve, the other feature you've got once we have the internet will be weather forecasting so not only will it do that weather curve, it will also link to the internet and it will uh, check the weather forecast and it will adjust that curve a little bit based on what it thinks it should do. So that's quite a good feature as well. So it's the, the curve is normal, but with the weather forecasting, it will make it a bit more reactive as well because it will, it will be checking what's coming and trying to forecast that. Aside from the forecasting, the internet will also let you link it to an app and you'll be able to see everything that I can see here from anywhere. Uh, so overall, Nibi is quite, quite a good system and the interface is pretty well tuned uh, compared to what you can sometimes get elsewhere. We can explain uh, all of this in more detail, but that kind of gives you an initial overview of uh, how it works really.